So, you know, with these interviews, um, yeah. you know, it's going to air at 6 o'clock, just a little parts from it. Uh, but the plan is to um, air, have the full interview in its entirety on our website and on our YouTube page. I okay. uh, just wanted to let you know that ahead of time. And then uh, we're asking each of the five candidates okay. the same five questions. Okay. So they're just, what well, made you decide to run for mayor? Yeah. For you, I'll just rephrase it. Yeah. What well, made you decide to run again? Um, what are the biggest issues facing the city? What are some of your solutions? Talk about the recent growth. Do you think that's been good for the city? Do you think that's been yeah. bad? Uh, what would you want Boise to look like in 20 years, and how would you work towards that? And what new ideas would you bring to the office? Okay. So. Right. Yeah. All right. So first off, uh, I'm pretty sure everyone knows who you are, but just in case. <laughs> well, Mayor Dave Beter. And can you spell? B-I-E-T-E-R. All right. And so, Mayor, what made you decide to run for re-election? Well, first of all, I love this job. It is uh, the greatest honor I've had in my professional life to be the mayor of my hometown. And uh, I've uh, treated it like the honor that it is every day, and I, uh, I want to keep doing it. There's more to, more to do. Uh, we're in a great place. We've had great successes. We've got 15 new parks, four new libraries. We've got three rec centers uh, that are new. We've got 11,000 acres of open space that we've uh, preserved. So we've got a lot of good momentum. We've got a great downtown just outside our doors here. Uh, and some vibrancy in a, uh, in a great economy uh, that are really doing well. But there's more to do. There are challenges. Uh, uh, both now and on the horizon, and I'd uh, really like to uh, keep at it and meet those challenges. Talking about challenges, what do you think are the biggest issues facing the city today, and what are some of your solutions to combat those issues? Well, uh, you know, growth, they're growth related. It's uh, pretty obvious. Uh, affordable housing is, a, is an issue, uh, transportation is an issue. Uh, but one of the things I'm so glad about, uh, we just learned in the last few weeks. Crime in Boise is down 17 percent, 45 percent since I came into office. So we start from a really good place, and the growth that we've seen isn't translating into some of the things that worry people the most. Uh, we've got lowering crime year over year to the lowest point since the FBI uh, started taking statistics in this way. So uh, we need to keep that in mind as we talk about it. But uh, affordable housing is an issue, and we've got a number of uh, efforts. Uh, underway to, to meet that. Uh, one of the most exciting is a trust fund, uh, both public and private, uh, that we're working on putting together to purchase land and to help with development to lower the cost uh, and keep the cost low uh, as the development matures. So that's, a, that's never been tried in Idaho. The state of Idaho has what they call a housing trust fund. They've never put any money in it. Uh, we're going to give it a, a role here locally. Uh, we just passed a, uh, an ordinance that allows for accessory dwelling units, makes it easier to, with easier parking requirements, a, a little bigger uh, units, and that's a that's a part of it. You know, some people have a house and then a something over their garage or something on their lot, and that can really help uh, if it's allowed to be a little bigger, a little easier to to maneuver. We already passed that. We've seen some good interest and activity there. Now we're going to work with the, there is the Idaho. Uh, State Housing and Finance Association and uh, Redevelopment Agency that we're partnering with and looking at new opportunities to leverage uh, those resources. In the next couple of weeks, I'm going to uh, convene a group uh, from the financial industry and uh, talk about can we get creative and find some other ways to finance development? Can you help us out with your requirements to do uh, community service? Uh, uh, we're excited about those opportunities as well. Now let's talk about the recent growth that the city has seen. Do you think that's been good for the city overall? Do you think that it's been bad, that it's harmed the city and its residents? Well, it's always a mixed bag. It's, uh, you know, uh, there's, there's some wonderful aspects to it. Uh, again, the downtown that we have here uh, is uh, in part fueled by, by growth. Uh, I never forget that when I was growing up, uh, Hyde Park, which is one of the gyms in the city, was not a great place. and and growth helped that along. So there are many upsides. The economy going so well uh, is related to that. The, you know, the challenges are, again, affordable housing, transportation. So it's always a mixed bag. Uh, but I also try to remember, uh, you know, talking to other mayors where, you know, they're, they're losing population or they're, 
you know, they'll, they'll say things like, well, we have affordable high housing, but we have high crime and high unemployment. Those aren't the trade-offs we like to see. Uh, growth is happening because we've been successful, and we need to understand that and then meet those challenges as we go along. But this is where we'd like to be. We're the envy of a lot of other, of other places. Now talk about your vision for the city of Boise over the next 20 years. And what's something you're doing now to work towards that vision? Well, I think the, the, to start out with, uh, we want to see uh, a development pattern that's compact and that's a walkable, bikeable mix of uses where you can go about your day, you can go shop close to where you live, you can have employment opportunities uh, close to where you live uh, as well. That's so important. And we really had success. We've located our own city services in neighborhoods. That's why we put neighborhood libraries out in parks to keep up with. Uh, so you have a great place right in your neighborhood. Uh, you know, we've put rec centers all throughout the city uh, in conjunction with the school district. So that is uh, vitally important, but that we not sprawl. Sprawl is the poison of any city. Uh, it just kills so many uh, good efforts. You got to drive farther. Services are more expensive to provide to you. It uses more uh, more water and more resources. It keeps you from having open space and preserve in areas like the foothills. So, what we never want to do is sprawl. We're already having success in growing in a more packed, compact way. We want to see that uh, increase. We want to see that go along even more. And then on top of that, uh, in the next 20 years, a public transportation system that really works. I'm a rail aficionado. We have a rail line that goes from Caldwell to Boise. Uh, it, I hope we can take that on in less than 20 years, but certainly in that time that that is working and working for all residents. And so once you get uh, those things done, it helps perpetuate a growth pattern that supports transit even more. So uh, that's what I'd like to see. We're working towards that in the land use and other decisions that we make. We're going to need some other resources to be able to pull that off, but I certainly hope we see that in that kind of time frame. All right, and then lastly, um, what new ideas would you bring to the job? You've been mayor for a while. Right. What are some fresh ideas that you have? Well, we're working on it all the time. We just uh, just this week, uh, you know, we've always wanted to be uh, open and transparent and, and engage people in the easiest way. We have an idea of having childcare at city meetings. Uh, you know, so so younger families can can get to them. We we took a shot at it and only got a couple, but uh, it's an idea that we're really uh, encouraged by. That's, those are the things that we're thinking about, as well as some things that have served me so well. But I'm going to keep doing, uh, and that's Saturday office hours. Open up the office on a Saturday, and we move it around town. I did one just this last Saturday. Uh, got a whole bunch of people wanting to, to spend time talking to me one on one or. I had a Girl Scout troop come and talk to me about what kind of civic project can we do, Mayor. So we're going to continue those kinds of things. We're going to look for ways to engage that uh, we haven't thought of. Uh, we're going to uh, try to be creative about uh, uh, transportation options. We have an idea to dedicate, to make uh, certain roadways uh, where the, uh, the bicycles are, uh, get the get the preference. Uh, we have an idea we want to try on 10th Street where uh, it's really oriented to allow bikes uh, the first right of way and vehiculars access in the vehicles access in a different way. That's the kind of creativity that we're working on now. We want to uh, try some of those things uh, and uh, you know uh, not be afraid to try new things and see how they work. If it, if it doesn't work, we'll try something else. But those are just a couple ideas. Uh, that we're working on now that we hope to bring out uh, and have some success with. That and as well as the uh, that trust fund idea you mentioned earlier. Exactly right. It's never been a, it's never been done in the state of Idaho. Uh, there's the heavy lift there, but it uh, it's uh, an idea. As time has come, and we uh, we're going to get on that. Like I said, we have the financial uh, industry representatives coming uh, uh, convening together uh, to think of new ones. One that came to me on the Saturday office hours, is there a way with these accessory dwelling units that can add a, a, you know, a good place to live on an existing lot? Uh, can we find a way to help finance that? Would our local uh, lending institutions say, 
you know, if this is going on, we'll we'll look to finance that. And uh, that came to me from the public just this last week. Uh, we want to always be engaging that uh, and having conversations, and some of those will result in, uh, in ideas that might work. All right. That should do it, man. Thanks for having me. Thank you.